Everybody. For me, it's Christmas Eve, <clears throat> and I'm getting ready to slap some stuff on my face so I can get ready to go do the Christmas Eve stocking thing with the family. And I figured since it was going to take me a minute, I might as well sit and yak while I'm doing it get things straightened out here. Got my elf eye primer putty. I love this stuff. It's Budimus. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, after a intermission, I'm just kind of hanging out trying to get ready for stocking time, and I'm playing with some stuff that I ordered from Coastal Sense because they had a bunch of their singles on sale at 99 cents. Don't mind that one, it got broke. And then I, I repressed it and then dropped it again just a few minutes ago. So it's like mostly Pam with a little Pam. But anyway, so how's you getting ready for the holidays, Ben? <clears throat> I've been scrambling around, trying to get stuff done. A little while ago, my son comes running in. The pharmacy is about to close and they didn't get some of my daughter-in-law's meds. Luckily, it's only a couple of minutes, literally a couple of minutes across town. So I took myself out in the cold, in the dark on Christmas Eve, and went to the pharmacy and did my heroic duty for the day. Okay. I'm just putzing around. I picked up a few kind of neutral stony shades <clears throat> from Coastal. I couldn't guess why. Well, because this tray with 11 shades plus the tray plus a second tray was 16 bucks as opposed to stone cold box. <clears throat> so I'm putzing around, not really doing anything, trying to get ready for stocking time this evening. And, you know, not really doing much. Yesterday, yesterday was a hoot. Yesterday was hard time. Yesterday we made a big pan of pecan 
and chocolate covered toffee. I like my pecans. I'm not so big on almonds. But, you know, goofing off, made a pecan pie. See, I like pecans. Made a bunch of snickerdoodle cookies. Since my daughter-in-law has an issue with lactose, we used, and believe it or not, they actually have this stuff, sweetened condensed coconut milk. So we used sweetened condensed coconut milk and coconut and then put, dipped it in 70% Giardelli dark chocolate and made her some coconut bonbons just for her and then we took some regular sweet condensed milk and more coconut and some crushed pecans and made some more bonbons, the rest of us. We've got the, we've got some little candy molds that we used to uh, put together some stuff. We tried one of those recipes for the make it yourself, make it at home. Um, Butterfinger, weirdest damn recipe, just weird. Seriously weird stuff. Because you use candy corn. Candy corn, melt it down. Mix it with an equal weight of peanut butter while it's kind of melted and mushy. Pour it or smoosh it carefully because this stuff is hot into a pan. And then, and then, you take, once it's set up, you cut it into like bars and then dip it in chocolate. Now, let me tell you, this may sound weird, but believe it or not, it comes out the color of the interior of the Butterfinger. And it also tastes like a Butterfinger. They are excruciatingly good. And I do mean they are delightful. Absolutely wonderful. And we got some little candy molds to do this. And the little candy molds we picked up are little round things that look more like the, the Rolos, the little caramel rounds in a little pot shape. And still, we have a few people in this house who are Butterfinger fanatics. I'm one of them. I love Butterfinger. The thing is, though, with the homemade Butterfingers, the only way you get the really crunchy stuff going on is if you put an additive in. And most people choose to use, God help me, 
cornflakes. I didn't bother with the additive since there's a few people here whose teeth are not what they used to be. And the and they've got a lot of dental work and the hard toffee inside of a butterfinger can cause some real trouble. So for all of those people in the house who don't have the best tooth condition currently, the homemade Butterfinger works an absolute treat because it's softer. You get some points where you find a little bit of a sticky spot, but nothing like the big bar. I can work with this. I find I like the Butterfingers anyway. I think they're delightful. Now, with the bonbons, those are great. It's another one of those three ingredient kind of things. You take sweetened condensed milk, one can, and about a bag the larger bags, not the little bitty bags, the larger bags of coconut, the shredded coconut. You pour them into a bowl, mix them together. It'll get real stiff because the coconut is going to soak up the liquid. And you definitely want it to come out kind of dry, where it looks like there's way more coconut than milk. You don't want it squishy, you know, liquidy and kind of real mushy. You want it to be pretty much almost like a heading toward dry batter. Just because that's what you want. Why? Because I said so. Anyway, once you get it dry like that, where it's pretty well stuck together, you put the bowl of coconut and milk, you put that into the refrigerator for a little while so that it's getting cold while it's in there thinking about itself. And then once it's had about half an hour or so to fully incorporate the moisture back into that shredded coconut, you take it out, use one of those medium-sized melon scoopers that everybody tells you to use for cookie scoops when you're making cookies. Scoop out, it's about a tablespoon's worth or so. And then get your hands wet, make balls. Balls are good. Once you've read that point, you put the balls back in the refrigerator so that they're cold. And then you melt your chocolate. 
Now, like I said, with my daughter-in-law's special, um, we use the Dear Deli Dark Dark Chocolate for the coating. And, oh yeah, rich, delicious, works great. Got it melted down, took the coconut balls out. Now, if you're using the sweetened condensed coconut milk, you're not going to want quite as much coconut you're going to be looking for about a one pound as opposed to two pounds because the sweetened condensed coconut is a smaller quantity where the regular sweetened condensed is you know, 13 to 14 ounces, the coconut is only like 11 ounces. So you got to adjust. Now, once the, the chocolate is melted and the balls are chilled, you take the chilled balls and whatever your favorite version of dipping equipment is and just dip it in the chocolate, roll it around, parchment or wax paper, sit them, let them sit up. That's it. That's it. Now the other bonbons that we did, I put crushed pecans in it because I like them. And then so we could tell them apart from the others easily. I sprinkled some of the crushed pecans on top. They look real pretty. Now, one of the members of the house absolutely loves and adores snickerdoodles. I'm not that big on snickerdoodles because I'm not that big on cinnamon. It has been known to give me heartburn. Something fierce. So, yeah, I'm not real big on skinnamon. It just is that way. That's just how I roll. That's the way it works. Anyway. We made up a batch of snickerdoodles, most of which will end up going to the one household member who's so enamored of them. We kept a few for the cookie plate for the kids. Yes, my face is broke out like a flippin' teenager. It's been the least bit stressful lately. <sighs> Man, my face is a wreck. Yeah, I found this at Dollar Tree, and I'm going, oh, look, Santa hat with a crown. So, yeah, had to have that because I couldn't possibly pass it up. And about to put the foundation on here in a second, so let me move the hat. And show off the new hair color. Yes. 
We're going into New Year. Gotta have a new hair color. Besides, it's I've done blonde for Christmas even before the channel for several years now, so I don't know why. I just get my eyebrows so that they're defined before I start the foundation. Yes, I've started going back to using the serums and stuff for my lashes and my eyebrows because they slacked off for a while and they disappeared again. That's the one problem with using the serums and stuff. You slack off, they go away. Anyway, I will probably put up some pictures of some of the confections we did. Tomorrow, Christmas dinner is going to be a glazed ham. Because we had turkey for turkey day. Yeah, it came out just a little more yellow than I was expecting, but hey. I might re-bleach it at some point, but not real soon. I like to let my hair rest between such things. Last thing I need to do is burn it off. If I want it gone that much, I'll just shave my hair again, you know? Oh, now my nose has decided to run. Pardon my sniffles. I know it's disgusting, it's rude, it's nasty. Sorry, but I'm trying to get this done without having to do too many breaks. There. Doesn't look too bad. Let's see if I can think of something that I want to run under the lower some more of that purple. Put that right up under the green. Because I like purple and green. I don't want to get too elaborate because once we get done with the stockings and the kids are shuffled off, then it will be time to We've already wrapped everything. Thank God for small favors. We've wrapped everything. But we still have to get it all out and around the tree. So. I'll be washing my face off. Hey, Mom. Alrighty, my son just keeps coming barging in and messing with my day. He it just. My day. I've also got my grandson in here who doesn't understand the word hush. <laughs> See? So, I, ha I have been finishing my mascara. I'm going to grab a pot of blush and some bronzer. Got my Pacifica. 
I like the Pacifica stuff. It's beautifully made. And it's like I'm not anywhere close to vegan. <sighs> but I like the fact that the vegan cosmetics don't use animal stuff. It's like I may eat animals. Shh. Hush. Hush. Anyway. That is my adorable little nine-year-old grandson. Who, no, he doesn't understand shush. It's one of the issues with being autistic and yeah he talks like a baby because he can barely talk and is mostly nonverbal when it comes to making any sense unfortunate but hey he's my favorite cutie so he's my favorite nine-year-old in So, he's going to be yakking, apparently, while we do this. Anyway, because he is. Okay. I like this Pacifica stuff, but there are some times you just barely touch the pan and you get way more than you were expecting. There, that helped. A little powder. And then I'm going to get a little bit of highlight. And put a little bit of highlight right here. It's a little bit of a purple from Moonchild. It's the purple horseshoe. Because why not? Yes, I'm wearing a red shirt. And I have red in my earrings. And my Mrs. Santa hat is very red. Ask me if I care. Put that in the corner. Like that. Like that. And then I think I'm going to go to the pink heart for here. finished in here I have to take the little man out to the other room and get his handprint done every year we do handprints of all the kids and write a little thing on it about well originally it was a mother's day thing and Things got kind of screwy with when we did it because things were just screwy anyway. And now it's a Christmas thing. And we write their name on it in the year. 
And those go to a mom. Those go to their mom. Rented lips. This ought to work for this evening's festivities. Now, regardless of when you see this, happy holidays. Cheers. Be good.